everybody, it's Tabby with Oregon Sweetheart Canine Care and today I am filming a vlog style video to show you a socialization adventure with baby Ray, the Corgi. And he's going to, well, there's Sadie back there also. I am at my sister's boarding barn and I'm going to feed all the horses that are here and then take baby to explore uh, some new friends, some giant friends. Are you ready? Let's do it. We're gonna have so much fun. I think you'd pull it off. I think you could do it. Tonight we watched the Disney's new Black Beauty movie and uh, Sadie is so in love with horses that it was the first movie we've ever watched her literally stare at the TV screen every time a horse ran by or made a sound, huh? You a horsey loving gal? Me too. Hi baby. Hi baby. If you're going to take your dog out to socialize them to new experiences such as horses, I always remember that your puppy is going to be looking to you for how they should respond primarily. And so keeping your voice talking low or soft or not talking at all, doing techniques such as yawning. <sighs> oh, it's funny, I did that and he stopped pulling on the leash. Uh, also help, which are communication tools that dogs use to each other to tell them to chillax or that there's nothing stressful. It, it's a stress release yawn. Often your puppy will yawn too. Um, doing that, looking around, looking down at them, looking around slowly also helps. Are we a little nervous? Yeah, who is that? Is he bigger than you are? I think he is. We're just kind of standing back here. Let's go, let's go, good boy, let's go. Ooh, wait a minute, there's more? Holy cow. Hey, 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 no. That is not a buffet. That is a pile, giant pile of horse poop. Not a buffet. Oh, there's a new sound and a new smell this way. I know what they are. <gasps> Piggies! Whoa, 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 you're too little to see the piggies? Did you want some help? What's that? Is it piggies? Hi, right, Gunner. Let's go this way. Let's go. When socializing a puppy to such a new experience, you want to keep the leash relatively loose, especially for somebody who's just a gentle explorer like this little man, huh? Yeah, we're going this way. Get it. Baby, are you eating grass? You're not a horsey. That's hay. Gunnar says, that's my hay. Sometimes puppy training involves the whole family, huh, Gunny? Yeah, he's chewing. As many places as possible, as many people as possible, done appropriately, and not so much to overwhelm the puppy in one session, but really, you know, the more the better. And um, just being gentle about it, positive experiences, awesome. Even ones that people might think are negative experiences, can be fantastic if you handle them the right way. A lot of people don't think to socialize their puppies to anything other than what they think that they're gonna see on a daily basis. And well, baby Ray might not spend a whole lot of time around horses, but 
a lot of the things he's learning by meeting horses and the barn. Um, well, the primary thing is that he's learning to trust his handler and trust that he's going to be okay, that humans aren't going to take him somewhere necessarily where he's going to be at risk. He goes out, for example, to the beach, right? That's probably some place he's going to visit. If anything, there's a lovely corgi celebration at the Oregon coast. When you're driving along, uh, parallels might be seeing elk. Seeing elk at the beach, you know, some similar large animal. Uh, or what if he ends up going to a fair and walks by some cows? You know, anything that's kind of similar. So it's really important to branch out of your comfort zone of where you think he might or your puppy might go because that's the way life works. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't. You can't predict the future. You can only do the best you can to prepare your puppy for their life. Come on, baby. Baby, it's time to go home. Yes, you had a fantastic time today. But we need to say goodbye to our horsey friends and you need to stop eating hay. You are not a horsey. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed our adventure or would like more puppy tips, please like this video and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Hey, that's not nice. Please be nice. Hey, before I go, if you would like your puppy to visit a farm or a barn but don't have access to one, visit my website at oregonsweetheart.com and reach out to me because I would love to help. Go to my services page, scroll down, and you'll find information on puppy socialization adventures as well as puppy parenthood classes. Okay, now I'm really...